All right, uh, we start with some more, in fact, we go into some more breaking news coming out, and this is regarding the censor board. Now, we apologize for that particular visual that is played out. It's an all-out war now uh, over the censor board's ban list. Former censor board member has hit out against the current chairperson. Now, this is developing into a big story now. It's an all-out war. Uh, remember, Pailaj Pankaj Nelani is the new, uh, the current censor board chief, and he's, of course, opened a Pandora's box. Uday Pratap Singh joins us now for more details. Uday, it's an all-out war. It's a ban list, really, uh, and people are out and up in arms against it. Well, no, that's right, uh, Atar. Uh, this is a fresh controversy which has engulfed the censor board. It's the first big one uh, ever since they took over just about a month ago. Remember, uh, the board had to be reconstituted after former censor board chairperson Leela Sampson had resigned about that old MSG controversy. Well, the big controversy that has erupted this time is basically a list has been issued by the new chairperson, Pelaj Dirani, which uh, contains a list of expletives and abuses which he feels as chairperson uh, should not be included in films uh, at all. So he sent out a list basically to uh, regional chairpersons and regional officers of the censor board asking that such uh, words, if they are used in movies, should be deleted. Now, the word is a choicest list of uh, abuses, basically. Uh, but the fact is, as a filmmaker, Ashok Pandit, who's an outspoken member of the board, has come out, tweeted openly saying that as a filmmaker, he feels creative liberty of filmmakers is being curtailed by this list because he believes, uh, and he said so in his tweets as well, Atar, uh, that, uh, you know, there are other abuses which are not mentioned in the list. So only if, you know, a character like Dao Dutayam or some other dog, which is used as an example of is being portrayed in a film, then he will use an abuse which is befitting his role. So he feels that this new directive is, uh, you know, curbing the freedom of filmmakers and it's an attempt by the new, new person, uh, you know, uh, personal freedom of speech. Remember, the new censor board should have obviously tried to avoid. There was a whole controversy which, uh, uh, you know, the previous censor board chief had dealt with, and we expected a lot from this new censor board, but that is something that's not happened. Uh, all out war breaking out, uh, you know, just about a month into the new tenure. Uh, so that's a very interesting And, and Uday, what's interesting here is you mentioned that Ashok Pandit is the, he's the newly appointed member of the C uh, CBFC. Even he has come out and tweeted saying that this is perhaps a curb on the freedom of expression there, and he's, of course, part of the film board. If uh, Pailaj Nilani, of course, has come out with a ban list. Uh, uh, yes. I, I just uh, assume the film industry will be up in arms and uh, all guns blazing. Well, absolutely, uh, you know, because uh, the news had not come out, uh, apparently two days ago was when this list was uh, uh, issued and sent out to all the regional officers of the CBFC uh, to, uh, from the chairperson. But now, of course, uh, news has come in. Uh, only has openly tweeted about it. Uh, so obviously this is going to snowball into a controversy. Expect many more reactions from filmmakers and actors. Because remember, uh, films portray reality and characters, if they are uh, a, a certain role, that he's mentioned, a Don's role or, a, you know, a, a a gunda's role or something, they will abuse. So that's what Ashok Pandit feels, that why should these abuses not be permitted in film? Surely they can be beeped out, or an adult certificate can be given, but why should a blanket ban be there on these films? Very interesting that Ashok Pandit has these views, sir. I mean, he's supposed to be one of the more concerned. Oh, absolutely. Uday, well, now, 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 hold on. I, I want to pick your brain for a bit longer, because now I have the entire list of the words being banned. Of course, I have to be very careful now, because otherwise... Uh, 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 I will be on the line, my neck will be on the line. Let's try something, Uday. Uh, there are, of course, English words and Hindi words as well. Uh, and there is, of course, there are words, uh, there are in English and Hindi. It's a long list, 13 words in English and 15 words in Hindi, uh, all related to various, uh, uh, various, uh, of course, situations and scenarios there. I also have with me Ashok Pandit's tweets right now, and he started tweeting about 30 minutes ago. And I'll just read out one of his tweets. Uh, he says, and I quote now, I as a filmmaker and a CBFC board member do not endorse the list issued by the chairperson on words not to be used. I was not consulted. He also goes on to say another tweet, the list of words issued by the chairperson not to be used in film is against the creative free, uh, liberty of a filmmaker. He then asks a question, and I want your comments on this, uh, Uday. Does the chairperson CBFC endorse other bad words which are not in this list? can be used in films. Now, this, of course, is a very expansive list, and it's going to be difficult for realistic filmmakers if they're showing perhaps a, a, a character out on the street not inculcating uh, uh, what they say on, on a daily basis as well. Uh, Uday? 
Absolutely, I thought, you know, uh, some movies that come to my mind are films like Omkara, which have been hailed critically and commercially, and they had the choices of uh, because you know uh, it was set in such a scenario. It was set in the hinterlands of uh, of the country where such abuses are frequently used. So now the fact is, uh, what Ashok Pandit is saying is, why is there a you know a list that has been drawn out by Palaj Nilani? And what's very baffling indeed, Athar, is that Palaj Nilani himself is a very celebrated filmmaker, and I'm sure if he makes the film tomorrow, he will also need a character to use. such words otherwise it will uh, you know uh, appear very half fake across the world this is a very uh, you know uh, this is a this is a common practice that if uh, someone is portraying a character he does use some abuse surely if there's something that is objectionable it's beeped out which is done by the censor board when it goes uh, you know when it certifies a film for tv audiences however when abuse is used in a movie it is uh, certified as an adult film so that you know people below 18 cannot go and see it now what's very uh, interesting is that palaj rani is not issued a blanket ban saying that abuse should not be used but he listed out as you uh, very rightly put it 13 choices of abuses of his own and uday also I, what 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 at prima facie uh, if one looks at it point number uh, 11 in the hindi terms i'll read it out certain abusive forms related to sex or when used in sexual terms now that could be seen because the same word in hindi can be used for something else also that's going to be a problem for palaj nilani But absolutely, and that's why uh, that's exactly what Ashok Pandit is saying. That why is there a list which has been brought out? You know, surely if he wanted to issue a blanket direction, he could have asking for all abuses to be uh, you know curbed, or uh, he could have left it to the discretion of the regional officer. Why should he come up with a list? And that's why Ashok Pandit very rightly asked uh, that you know would he encourage other such abuses which may not be in this list but are equally uh, you know disturbing? Right. Uday, this is a big story. This is a big story. I ask you to stay with us. Stay with us because we are opening our phone lines right now. Numbers are flashing on your screen, ladies and gentlemen. Do call us in. Let us know what you think of this ban list, so-called ban list uh, that has been, uh, in fact, issued by Palaj Nilani, the film, the censor board chief. There already some sort of mutiny against him by his own censor board members. Oday, number fourteen, of course, is also very interesting. He says. Uh, uh, the change of name Bombay to Mumbai as per government of Maharashtra's notification dated 4996. Now, uh, for example, there is a movie that is a period movie set in when Mumbai was called Bombay. How does it make yes. sense, for example, to say a movie called Mumbai Velvet when it's based in the 1950s? Absolutely, and that that very uh, you know pertinently applies to that next film that is coming later this year of Anurag Kashyap's uh, Bombay Velvet. Uh, uh, but the fact is also uh, that you know uh, would this now apply to other films as well? You know, many reports. Oh, they stay with us. We're getting some voices yeah. from the film industry as well. Kunika Lal on the phone line right now. Kunika, what are your thoughts on this new ban list uh, that has been issued by the uh, censor board chief? I think it's very regressive and. Uh, Uh, these are things. I mean, I can understand when it comes to about women's dignity and you know things like that, or you show bloodshed and you know blood and gore. But I think these kind of words, if they are in the subject and in the context of the film, I think this is not is not a right uh, move that the censor board. And, and Kunika, we understand there is some <laughs> resistance within the censor board. Also, Ashok Pandit, who is a newly recently appointed censor board member, says this curbs the creativity and the artistic liberty of the filmmaker. Do you Absolutely agree? Absolutely right. Um, Mr. Ashok Pandit is absolutely right. This is this you cannot start to say. I mean, we are not children. We are a grown-up democracy. We have uh, the youth is very, very. Uh, um, they understand everything. They are very, very. They are knowledgeable. They are open. The whole world spectrum is open to them. You cannot do this kind of thing in this democracy. Uh, do you think the film ministry is going to take it lying down, uh, Kunika? Because do you, uh, do you think there is going to be a backlash against this? Uh, what you called a regressive step. <coughs> You know, my biggest issue is with people who have uh, who are appointed in these positions when they have not made a film in the last ten or fifteen or twenty years. So they they don't even know the pulse of the audience. They don't know what it is to make a film. They don't know what it costs for a producer. And they, you know, sticking to a subject and you know the the essence of the subject. The story has to be told in a certain way. It has to be told in a certain way. All right. Okay. Kunika, Kunika, if you can, please stay with us. We have Rahul Mitra on the phone line. Uh, he is the producer of the movie Bullet Raja. Uh, Mr. Mitra, I have seen your movie, and it was set in uh, rural Uttar Pradesh and Madhya Pradesh. If I'm not wrong, how do you uh, re- how do you react to uh, what Palaj Nilani has sent out? It's a it's a list, a very expansive list of 13 English words and 15 Hindi words. Uh, still, I'll be very honest. I have not uh, still had a look, although I just got to know that there are certain words. And all I can say is that uh, abuses are. Generally, not required. You see, if you see Bullet Raja, and even if you see my earlier films, I will be gangster the part one, part two. We have generally refrained from uh, bad words. I mean, uh, I, I don't think that uh, the usage of bad words is, is essential for storytelling. If it can happen without it, then let it be. 
So I've not had a look at the words, but uh, I mean, as far as my I'm personally concerned, I am generally not in favor of foul language uh, in in film. Okay, no, now I understand way, your position, Mr. Yeah. Mitra. But what about someone who's trying to make, let's say, a gangster Wasipur movie, which is based on true incidents? Uh, do we expect yeah. gangsters, real-life gangsters, and if a movie is made on them, do we expect them, uh, filmmakers, not to portray what kind of people they are? Because the kind of language they use uh, for a filmmaker, if he's being honest and genuine to his audience, he must reflect that in his movie. Uh, your 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 point is uh, well taken. That's why I said that I have exactly not had a look at words. Now, see, a curse word is a curse word. I, I understand, but then there are also uh, certain words that that are probably uh, uh, taboo, uh, you know, in society and 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 stuff like that. So I feel that um, uh, you, there there has to be a limit uh, of how much you can you can be realistic on cinema. You okay. Know, if you, if, yeah. Okay. Your, your position, of course, is appreciated, Mr. Mitra. You are still, of course, an active producer, and I understand. Many thanks. In fact, if you can stay mm -hmm. with us, we also talked to Leela Samson, uh, uh, who is the former chief of the censor board. I'm, I'm being told now that uh, we've lost that connection. But, Mr. Mitra, let me ask you this. Ashok Pandit, who is a member of the CBSC himself, a newly appointed member, has come out and said that this is against artistic liberty, it's against free speech. He also says this curbs uh, the freedom of creative liberty of a filmmaker. Now, Ashok Pandit is also a filmmaker, he's also part of the board. Now, there is dissension be between the board members. Do you think that this perhaps uh, uh, could be uh, uh, could be some problem for, for Mr. Nehalani? See, there will always be two sides, uh, you know, to a story. Uh, I think the recent AIB and with the roast and also had such reactions coming from all over. Uh, so then, then, then it, you know, expression, uh, freedom of expression, I think is a very subject, it's, it's a very thin line. But one has to exercise, I feel, with caution. Because okay, like so, so you're, you're, you're taking a very cautious approach, Mr. Mitra. You're saying that one no, has to approach it. See, in a movie, I have to show poverty. It doesn't mean that in, in, in three hours, I'm, I'm showing four kids uh, out in the open and, uh, you know, uh, shitting all the time. Because so, so what I'm trying to say is that uh, for realistic cinema also have, I, I feel that that line should be drawn and, and uh, I mean I understand that every filmmaker has a right of uh, of portraying uh, the realities of life in his or her own way. Okay. But I think okay. That, yeah. But Rahul Mitra, so many thanks for speaking to us. That was the producer of a movie called Bullet Raja speaking to NewsX. We also have our first caller right now from Chennai. Suman, go ahead. Uh, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Uh, see, I have had a westernized upbringing, but bad language is a no-no. Several years back, there was a super hit song to teach buddy hey, must, must. I used to cringe when I heard it. How can you refer to a woman as she or as a female? No wonder such words lead to disrespect of women. If abusers are essential in a film, they can be blanked out. Thank you. Okay, okay. many thanks, Suman, for calling in. That was Suman, our first caller from Chennai there. Uh, saying that uh, she does agree, perhaps some words need to be bleeped out. Uh, we're encouraging you to call in again uh, and uh, s and say what you feel about the uh, uh, the dicta, really, the ban list uh, that has been uh, uh, issued by uh, uh, the censor board chief here. There are a total of 13 English words here uh, that uh, uh, have been put on notice. Uh, so objectionable words, abusive words are still not deleted, says the notice. Uh, the details of such words are all given below. That the, I have a list in my hand. There are uh, 13 English words, 15 uh, Hindi words of various uh, various words there as well. We're getting, trying to get more reactions uh, on the story as well. Uh, we spoke to a couple of filmmakers, of course. Uh, but what's, what's interesting really here is that Ashok Pandit, who was also a member of the censor board, uh, has, uh, has come out openly and tweeted that he doesn't agree. Uh, with this diktat. We have another caller from uh, Chennai right now. Subramaniam, go ahead. Sir, I feel that, you know, the movie shown in television also, there is a beat when there are some abuses. So, actually, these abuses cause a lot in the younger generation. Because of them being very active in social media, they use the, these abuses also. They are, they, are, they are inspired by watching all these movies. So it is right to ban all abusers or at least beep it when it comes so that the people may understand it. So it is a good move, I believe. Thank you, sir. All right. Many thanks for calling in. Anil Dixit also calling from uh, Gwalia. Go ahead, Anil. Yeah. Question is, you are asking for artistic liberty. But liberty, but if you take with decency and decorum and morality, then 
the question comes in the court. And then you should not cry that you are being taken to court. Okay. Okay, Anil Dixit there from Gwalior. Uh, thanks for calling in. Uh, we're trying to get more reactions on this as well, but uh, this is the big news uh, of the hour right now. The CBFC chief has in fact come out with a list that mentions specifically 13 English words and 15 Hindi words that he uh, seeks a ban on uh, and says that all filmmakers must delete these uh, words and abusive words uh, from their movies. Uh, what I would in fact like to ask him, of course, uh, number Third, number 12 in the Hindi uh, 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 list is, uh, it says, violence against women must not be shown in movies. Uh, what I would like to ask the censor board chief is, if one is making a movie on violence against women and trying to highlight the cause, how would a filmmaker go about it? Parth calling from Gujarat right now. Parth, go ahead. Women must not be Partha from Gujarat, go ahead, Parth. All right, we seem to have lost that connection, but uh, we will be getting more callers uh, from across the country and we'll try to take as many as we can. Um, this is, of course, the story of the hour right now. Um, we'll uh, try and come back to the story in just a moment. We have to take a short break right now. Uh, we'll be back in just a moment. Take a short break. Come right back. <laughs> 